बिस्मिल्लाम खान हेयर एंड कंटिन्यूंग टॉपिक ऑफ करंट मिरर सर्कट नॉट कंटिन्यूंग वाइंडिंग इट अप बेसिकली द लास्ट वीडियो सम एग्जाम्पल्स एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन द करंट मिरर सर्कट एंड फॉर माई इंडियन व्यूअर्स वॉचिंग दीज आर प्रीवियस इयर गेट क्वेश्चन ओके ओके सो वीव सीन द बेसिक्स फॉर आई नाउट आई नॉट यू नो आई आउटपुट विच इज दिस करंट बेसिकली आउटपुट कर दिस विच बी गुल आई रेफरेंस इफ बीटा इज इन्फिनिटी एंड दिस वुड बी मल्टीप्लाई विद सम फैक्टर दिस बीटा फैक्टर इफ द बीटा इज नॉट इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी so the current in one part of the circuit is controlled by the current in another part of the circuit this is what the definition according to the definition this is so let's me read out question number 1 two perfectly matched silicon transistors two perfectly matched silicon transistors i uh, have what are connected as shown so this is the connection shown assuming beta to be very high beta is given to be very high uh and uh, and the forward bias voltage drop of the diodes to be 0.7 volts so forward by there this one this one and this one 0.7 volts the current i is so this is the output current i so which is being controlled by what current by the current that is over here so the current that is flowing over here through this resistance this would be the reference current i reference isn't it like this it is so what do you have now if beta is very high if beta is very high this implies what that the base current would be zero the base current would be zero and if the base current is zero this would imply what that i output would be equal to i reference this i would be equal to i reference and for i reference what do you have you only have to apply a simple kvl let's start from here negative i reference times 1 kilo ohms Negative I reference times one kilo ohms plus to minus. Have a look. Is this uh, forward biased or reverse biased? So the plus is at a ground, minus is at a negative supply. So P is uh, P is at the ground, minus N is at a negative supply. So which means P is more positive. So this is this is what this is forward biased, and the forward biased voltage drop is given to you, which is a 0.7 volts. So you could say a minus 0.7, and then you have uh, in this way if you come around, so you have a plus minus 0.7 over here. So I would write it as a minus 0.7, and this would be equal to a negative 5 volts, or I could say a plus 5 is equal to zero. Right now I could take I reference to that side, so I reference would come out to be what? i reference would come out to be i have the value over here i've written it it's a 3.6 milliamperes 3.6 milliamperes negative 3.6 milliamperes why negative maybe i have just taken the direction of the current wrong or maybe maybe you know i have just applied the kvl wrong doesn't matter so the, the the output current is equal to the reference current in this case this i so this is also equal to 3.6 milliamperes just a simple question question number 2 with the blue color question number 2 with the blue color what does this state perfectly matched transistors perfectly matched two transistors and the symbol of transistor is q okay vt with given the thermal voltage vt is 25 millivolts and ib is approximately equal to 0 ib is approximately equal to 0 is also given which means again the value of the beta is quite large is infinity you could say then what do you have the value of the resistance r in kilo ohms is unknown such that that is required to provide 1 microampere 1 microampere of bias current from the differential amplifier block this current this current is 1 microamperes which is the output current i output yes yes now the differential amplifier block nothing of our concern our concern is what that a current is flowing in the microamperes range have a look at the output side at the output side you have a microampere range current you have a resistance in the emitter leg what is this this is a wheeler current mirror circuit which means that this current that is flowing over here the i reference current would be what would be in a milliamperes range would be higher than this and have a look beta is given to be very large or you could say infinite so what would be the case that i not 
uh, would be equal to i reference no 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 sorry which means that ib would be equal to zero which means that ib would be equal to zero right so this would be zero this would be zero which means that i reference is the same current that is flowing through this collector branch this is all the same current so what do you have is you could apply a kvl through this loop you could apply a kvl at this loop so what do you have let us apply so a kvl would apply what kvl you have a plus 12 minus i reference time r is this value of resistance given resistance is not given uh, wait resistance is not given just give me a second a current is given i believe yes and and this is given okay so this is given this reference color is, this is given as 1 milliampere so you would have what you would have a 12 minus i reference times r if this is a resistance r so r is not given but this this collector current is given yes yes this collector is given to be 1 milliampere so if this is 1 milliampere have a look the base current is zero so this i this is also equal to 1 milliampere but 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 we are not interested in the kvl for now we are interested in for re this re resistance so re we already we already know from the formula this would be vt upon i output and ln of i reference of i output so put down the values vt is given to be 25 millivolts i output is given to be 1 micro amperes into ln of i reference is given to be 1 milliamperes divided by i output is 1 micro amperes calculate this you will get the value of re and the value of re comes out to be 173 kilo ohms approximately do the calculations please 173 kilo ohm this is what the, in the question is asked we all we solved the question anyways if you want to find out this r as well so you have this one milli amperes into r then you have a minus vbe and this is equal to minus 12 or you could say a plus 12 equal to zero solve this for yourself you can also calculate the value of this particular resistance r yes yes sir question number three please question number three perfectly matched transistors no no this one in the silicon bjt in the silicon bjt circuit shown assume that the emitter area of the transistor q1 is half that of the transistor q2 which means that ae1 is equal to ae2 upon 2 yes yes so which means what that ie2 which means what that or you could say that ie1 would be equal to ie2 divided by 2 or ie2 would be twice of ie1 why because i told you that the emitter area junction is directly proportional to the reverse current and then you, you 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 know the basics so if the emitter current is in this way so ie is approximately equal to ic so this would imply that ic2 is twice times ic1 isn't this like this it is and I, I C2 is what? It's your I output current. I output current. And, and your and your I C1 is what? I C1 this one. This one is your the same as your reference current. Why? Because the base current is supposed to be zero. So this means this I output is two times I reference in this particular case. high value of beta okay so what do you do for this for what do you do for this so for i reference you have to find it for i reference you need to calculate the i, I the kvl i reference is this current let's say i apply so negative i reference times what uh, uh, 9.3 kilo ohms minus vbe is 0 0.7 is equal to minus 10 or plus 10 is equal to 0 so you could calculate the value of i reference from here 10 9.3 divided by 9.3 kilo ohm i reference comes out to be 1 milliampere yes 1 milliampere and and i naught is 2 times i reference so i naught is equal to 2 milliampere another simple question as it is yes yes sir question number four Question number four states what the figure is given. The, the match transistors Q1 and Q2. So this one is Q1 and this one is Q2. Similarly over here this one is Q1 and this one was Q2. Fine. Yes. So 
shown have beta is equal to 100 assuming the base emitter voltage to be 0.7 volts the collector emitter voltage v2 of the transistor q2 so the collector to emitter voltage means what this voltage this voltage with respect to the ground or you could say the voltage at this point let me name it as what collector to emitter voltage vca2 yes so this is unknown so first of all you can say what you can say that your i output in this case would be beta upon beta plus two times i reference why because beta has a finite value so i output would be beta upon beta plus two times uh, i reference and for i reference what do you do this is your i reference so for i reference you apply the kvl so you have a 12 minus 10 kilo ohms times i reference minus 0 0.7 coming this way plus two minus have a look you could say you could have a question in your mind that the current flowing over here is zero amperes so why can i can i how can i apply the kvl over here this could be a valid question so the thing is that you have to think of this and this as a single point you have to omit this now why because these two are the single point they have been joined and the current is flowing in this direction right the c and the b point have been joined together right yes so minus 0.7 and this is equal to zero so from here you can calculate your i reference what is the value of i reference the value of i reference is 1.13 milliamperes 1.13 milliamperes so i out would come out to be what beta is 100 upon 102 into 1.13 milli the output current comes out to be 20, uh, this one well I have not calculated it over here I have not written the value whatever is the value let's say x right let's say x is the value now the voltage so for this voltage you could apply a KVL at this point so you could say that 50 minus I naught times 20 kilo ohms and this is equal to VCE2 and you have the value of this uh, that is your uh, uh, i naught so from here you could calculate your vce2 which i have written is 27.8 volts 27.8 volts yes yes and if you want me to to do that for you as well so what is the value of i naught so so just let me let me do it quickly i have a calculator over here 100 upon uh, uh wait 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 what is this you have a hundred upon 102 and 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 then what do you have it's multiplied with 1.3 into 10 to the power negative 6 so this comes out to be something in the microamperes range i believe uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 1.2 microamperes 1.2 microamperes this should be in the milli range uh, yes but anyways please check if I've made some mistake somewhere this is 1.2 microamperes okay 1.2 microamperes okay so anyways you need to check the calculations these calculations I believe they may be wrong because over here when I calculated this VCE so this came out to be 49 point something whereas I have written over here is 27 point something so please please you need to check the values and this may come wrong from the I reference value uh, uh, oh wait 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 I reference I put over here wrong I reference I put over here wrong this is 1.3 in 10 power minus 3 right yes yes so 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 this would be in the milliamperes range also if this is in the milliamperes range do the calculation so i think this would be correct anyways if this is correct or wrong it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you have to do what you have to do the calculations by your own self so the book examples do we need to do the book examples so i don't think we need to do them i don't think we need to do them because those are uh, quite simple enough or if you want me to do this one example for you so let's say we have an example 4.29 4.29 is like this it's like this okay you have a plus 6 volts over here then you have what you have this resistance which is a 1.3 kilo ohm resistance then you have this transistor 
this is the case then you divide it into two parts another transistor and similarly over here another transistor so the current flowing over here is I this one is grounded this one is grounded similarly the current flowing over here is I this is Q3 this is Q2 this is Q1 and this one is grounded over here calculate the current I through each of the transistor as shown so this one is your I reference current I reference current so have a look they, if the transistors are perfectly matched what would you have you would have this VBE1 is equal to VBE2 is equal to VBE3 is equal to VBE let's say is 0 0.7 volts isn't it like this it is so and, and again and also IB1 would be equal to IB2 is equal to IB3 is let's say equal to the base current IB right yes now IB1 this IB1 as you know that IC is equal to beta times IB so you can have IB1 as uh, uh, IC upon beta and IC over here have a look is this current I reference current isn't it it is it is I reference yes and similarly then you can have what you can have for IB2 IB2 would be the current IB this this I upon beta because this is the collector current similarly IC IB3 would be again I upon beta because this is I and you would have a beta current this I is the collector current for this yes so if these three are equal if these three are equal so you would have what I reference by beta is equal to I by beta is equal to I by beta again isn't it like this it is so I must equal I control so beta beta cancels out and this means what that the I must be equal to the I reference current so now you need to find out your I reference so I reference could be found out simply by the KVLs by simply by the KVL and that is what plus 6 minus 1.3 kilo times I reference and then minus 0 0.7 this is equal to 0 from here you can find out your I reference and the value of I reference comes out to be 4.08 milliampere 4.08 milliampere and that is it if you have something else in the book you can read it out for yourself yes because I had I have had an enough discussion over the topic of the current mirror circuit and that is it I believe that should be it have a look the first one uh, a positive supply is grounded we only have a negative supply in the next question we have both the supplies then again positive is grounded uh, and you have a negative supply and similarly you have a positive supply and no negative supply so we've covered the majority of it you see a basic current mirror circuit would be what you would have a base uh, collector to base shorted for one and the base of the two transistors would be shorted again right the conditions you know are what that both the transistors would be perfectly matched beta would be the same for both uh, uh, IB is approximately equal to zero if that is the case these are the basic formulas the collect the emitter junction area should be the same for both and uh, similarly one other that they both they both should be operating in the active mode yes yes so if you still have anything in the book uh, you don't understand you can ask me in the comment section that was just a simple topic an interesting topic of current mirror circuit in which the current in one part of the circuit was up to, was controlled by the current in another part of the circuit yes it may be equal from current mirror definition you could say the output current is the mirror image of the input current as we saw or you could control it with the value of the beta yes yes that is it see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah maybe with the new chapter till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye